here we have a YouTuber in his natural habitat taking some photographs of the bikes looking quite splendid up on this hill <laughs> and John's stick your belly out to get the right shot pose wonderful just had a lovely ride out on these things and Cupid's enjoying being off the lead while there's no sheep around it's good stuff it's beautiful up here and a euro fighter call sign wolf 21 having some fun in the clouds above so currently parked up on danby beacon and this morning when we popped out to walk QP, i saw the remains of a building under the van and it's great because you can see all bits of metal work sticking up out of the um, brickwork as well under the van so I thought I'd have a bit of a Google and see what it is. And it used to be a radar station in the Second World War. It was built right before the war started um, to help out with the early warning system that was being built up and down the country. And even the uh, there was a plot that was sent from there. So the radar plotters sent some planes out to shoot down the very first German plane of the Second World War. So it's quite a significant little place. Um, not that you really can see much of it now, but when you do come and have a walk around, we were just walking around before, you can see all of the bricks and things underneath, see where the building used to be. But right now it's just a bit of a car park with a, a beacon on one corner, but really good stuff. Nice little bit of synergy coming from the um, Air Museum. So we've been up on the moors for a few days obviously Yorkshire's got lovely moors but as you can hear in the background it's also got a lovely coastline as well so Mandy's going bodyboarding Mandy's going bodyboarding <laughs> you excited? I am and I'm looking at Dave and Joe in their full length wetsuits and wearing mine that I got in Spain it's about 19 degrees there's a bit of a breeze so let's just call it for shits and giggles Water temperature is probably about 10 degrees. Yeah, I think you may be cold. Already cold? Yeah. Off you go then. <laughs> Camera ready? Camera ready. Oh, but Jesus. <laughs> that cold? That's not cold, that's freezing. <laughs> freezing. And obviously, if you're running into trouble, I know somebody pretty good with water and boats and stuff. I got me for a real lifeguard, it's great. For a price. And oh, then really? Joe's <laughs> for a price. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's always worth more when it's out there in the At least I'm already cold. If you wall the board like that, the way that it's going to smash you in the face. Yeah. So you have to lift it over the way or pointing it in sideways. Or just let it go behind you. No. We're not thinking about sharks and stuff.
they sort the hair out. Are you ready? Five on, holding your hand. Get ready to push me through. Go, go, go! It's alright though. It's, uh, it's definitely keeping me warmer. Oh! Okay. Ah. Oh, that's my first belly slap. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Solo. I've left my lifeguard. There's a nice one. Go, go, go. Push, push, push. Totally not thinking about anything that could be swimming around me at the minute. If this is going to get me over my fear of being in the sea, God knows what is, eh? On my own. Well, there's a biggie coming. So coming this far. <laughs> oh, worth waiting for. I was thinking, oh, there's never going to be a wave, and I'm like, no, no, I'm waiting for the perfect wave, and then that's the furthest I've been on one. That was good. So, and I only freaked out twice about thinking things were swimming around my legs. How did that go? <laughs> that one sucked me in and spat me right down. That's what she said. <laughs> One thing we're really loving about Yorkshire so far is the parking, or park-ups, should I say. Um, yeah, getting to the town centre's a bit tricky for parking, um, but up in the moors and generally most places around Yorkshire, there are so many options for parking up for the night. Just all these little lay-bys they have, beauty spot stops for um, you know dog walkers or anything else. Currently we're on a public bridleway. So there's another motorhome behind me over there. Uh, there's one next to us as well, and there's us, and there's a couple here during the night as well. And this is generally what we've found through most of Yorkshire so far, is as soon as you get into the countryside, into the dales and the moors, there are lots of spots like this that almost make you forget a little bit about all the other problems we've had. It's just been lovely. Absolutely lovely, actually. Like I say, breath of fresh air. So yes, if you're wondering where to go, and you're thinking you'd like to travel a little bit, see some lovely countryside, see some lovely places, and find easy park ups. Yorkshire. And everyone in Yorkshire is probably screaming at me now, don't tell them, don't give it away. <laughs> Sorry about that, but yeah. From York and everywhere around we've been, we've just had an absolutely fantastic time. Morning. Morning, how are you doing? I'm all right, how are you feeling? I'm aching all over. <laughs> Surfer Babe Pamela Anderson. Oh dear, yeah, not quite, not quite <laughs> at all. <laughs> it looked like you had fun though. I had so much fun, Yeah. so much fun. I think the difference in actually having waves to when we first went out there ages ago. Yeah, it was, must have been over a year ago, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, so that was, it, uh, fun. it was so good. So the great feeling of getting it right, timing it right, pushing yourself off and kicking your legs enough just to get the wave, even though... I know it's not surfing, but my God, it's like so fun. much fun, like so much fun.
needless to say I came away from there and on Amazon obviously because I've paid for Jeff to go to space now I might as well utilize the service <laughs> um, so I've ordered myself a wetsuit and uh, bought another bodyboard over there as well yep. so it means next time out I can go join yes wherever we are isn't that good yeah on this occasion we were at Sands End because we've obviously been touring Yorkshire a little bit haven't we yes and um, today we're going to tour Whitby 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 I've got a red scorpion. Oh my god. One minute. Mandy's Snicking. still playing this game on her. I'm still blaming you, Rosie. I'm still blaming <laughs> you for this. Oh no, oh, I've just got to save some people. Oh, they get radiation poisoning, you see, and they die. Busy. Quite busy, yes. Obviously Sunday. Um obviously went there with the Whippets again, Dave and Joe. Yes. Uh, it was his and birthday. The actual thing. Whippets. And the actual Whippets, yeah. <laughs> it was his birthday and everything. So um spent the weekend doing a few little activities with him. Yep, it's been absolutely brilliant. But we're knackered. Oh, it's so <laughs> tired. I think just being out in the sun and the sea yeah. air always gets you every time. And yeah. we've not stopped because it's just been a bit mental walking and obviously all the bodyboarding and you've mm. been bike riding and climbing up mega hills <laughs> yeah how many bloody steps from the abbey car park down to whitby itself oh a yeah yes a heck of a lot yeah. so much so that even poor cooper on the way back was like hello you were just going to one step at a time old, you know. and looking <laughs> oh mate take your time buddy bless him that is the International Space Station flying over there, folks. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's currently over Europe. We're in a uh, North Yorkshire kind of area. North of York. But yeah, it's pretty cool. We can see it with the naked eye. Good morning. And this morning, our little view is a little different. little forest area, but with a white horse on the hill. <laughs> uh, we're just near Sutton Bank. And speaking of Sutton Bank, we're just going to uh, set up now, off up there, bit of a hill to get there, um, and then we're just going to do a bit of cycling. And then later, I think we're off to Eden something, which is um, something World War II-ish. I'm sure Mandy will explain more about that when we get there. But yeah, lovely peaceful night's sleep here. Uh, no one bothered us or anything like I say. Pretty nice in Yorkshire. Everyone seems to be fairly okay with the... Uh, wild camping and uh, leave no trace you know it was just us last night so there wasn't a bunch of people or anything like that so it's pretty cool really if it wasn't for this little monkey trying to eat grass to everyone who said does he learn his lesson no is the answer to that no he's not learned so one thing i do want to say about the bikes and why we got them is so we can do stuff like this so we can get out there and get more exercise so we've got little uh, fitness watches kind of things so that when we set off we can actually see where we've been and the route we took um, speeds top speed average speed calories burn all that kind of stuff but mainly obviously they fit in they both fit in there which means we can both go out there and both enjoy ourselves and get a little bit of exercise at a time so if we can do this for a couple of hours every other day or something that's great fun but obviously for the rest of the time we're just using for nipping to the shop and um, yeah just brilliant aren't they
that a lovely cycle round Sutton Bank green route I would say yeah in fact it was so nice I did it twice yeah that was <laughs> absolutely brilliant my first time on a proper pucker cycle track as well yeah with jumps in those banks around the bends Burs. and everything Burs. Oh, Burns or something oh my like that. god that was so cool it was isn't it like really cool and th those little bikes are not just commuter bikes no they're really good what uh, what little fun that we had on them they were very capable. Yes, we managed so. to get some good speed up going over the bumps and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I'd say the only thing that if, if on the footage there is any skittishness on my part is because that's my nerves <laughs> and just getting used to the smaller wheels, I think. Yeah. And yeah. But definitely worth coming here again. What was it, about oh. four and a bit quid for parking all day? Yeah, and, absolutely um, brilliant. Yeah, well worth it. So I'm just going to go and hit up the khaki in the shop now. <laughs> <laughs> Wear a hat, sometimes play chess And when I'm out I'm looking for that vintage fling But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I dream of Just only find that vintage love just got to our park up after visiting Eden Camp. After going to the Yorkshire Air Museum we had a few people recommend it to us and I'd heard about it before. Love everything to do with the Second World War, really really interested in all the little bits about it and boy was that everything that you needed to know about it. There was everything about everything. They have It's in a former concentration camp where we kept hold of all the, the Germans that had been shot down from planes and um, and they were all held there apparently in really really good conditions which is always good and then there's a, all the like the Nissan type huts where all of the people's accommodation were and the naffy and the med bay and all that kind of stuff all as it was before but slightly turned into museums within a museum I think we'd seen the wording haven't we a lot on that one so there was a uh, one for each year. So you got 1939, 1940, all the way to 45, and then everything from the end of the Second World War after. So all the conflict, all conflicts after that. Everything about veterans, all about the medals. But the thing that blew me away the most was how much effort had obviously been put into each of these displays. I mean, we were walking through trenches and walking through the trenches, they had the duck boards underfoot that bounced when you walked on them and there was the smell and the noise and there was smoke. And uh, we went on a U-boat and the, the metal floor was slightly bouncy and then there was, you could hear the radar pinging and then all of a sudden it started pinging really loudly and, and, and frequently and then the whole thing shook and uh, honestly the amount of detail that they've gone to in there is absolutely amazing and, and is stunning and I did have the best slice of Victoria sponge a la World War 2 that I have ever had. What did you think? I thought that it was a really nice place um, I'm not as much into this stuff as you, but they yeah. did go to a lot of effort to make it as realistic as they possibly could. Um, but I thought that the Victorian sponge cake was um, way too sickly. <laughs> Says the man who loves everything chocolate flavoured, whereas <laughs> if you give me a bit of fresh cream and jam on anything, that's it. I love it. Um, but no, it was it was absolutely brilliant. You could eat in the gift shop. They even sold like little bottles, what looked like essential oils, but of the smells going round. So they had one of the Blitz, and then they had one of the home front, and then one of the trenches. And all I can say is, if you go in there, don't just take a big sniff when you open the tester pot. No, 
so after burning my nostrils a little bit i did buy myself a hand crocheted poppy from the gift shop so yeah absolutely loved it brilliant brilliant place so thank you for anybody who recommended it well that just about rounds up our tour to yorkshire hey. <laughs> it was a very quick tour Yes. We need to go back again for longer, for yeah. sure, because it was amazing and we yeah. didn't get to see hardly any of the stuff that we were going to. But it's been brilliant now. Mm. Really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I can't wait to go back and try the other things that we couldn't get to in this sh short-ish amount of time we had. Yep. And um, for now, wish you um, farewell. We shall catch you somewhere, possibly near Lincolnshire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, if all, go if all plans go to uh, to plan. If all the thing, all things go to plan. Yeah, all yes. that. Anyway, how <laughs> many beers? <laughs> um, just one. the one. Just yeah. the one. That's, That's it. for you, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> right then. So uh, yeah, we shall see you very soon. And for now, thanks for watching, and yeah, we'll catch you next guys. time. Bye. Bye.